talking about decluttering. Does this look familiar? Look at that backpack. That's actually from the Bedeau house. Yes, I need a little help today. So we have our decluttering expert in with us today, Laura Wolf with Declutter. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Does this look scary? Or does this give you anxiety? <laughs> no, no, I, I think it's great. <laughs> I know, we were talking a little bit in the break about, uh, what did you say, like messy? Um, visual clutter is mental clutter. Okay, my daughter's backpack and from the summer. So today we thought, this is what's gonna happen here in a couple of weeks. We go back to school next week, so kids are gonna start bringing a bunch of papers home. Uh, what is kind of the first step for decluttering when it comes to having a lot of stuff being brought into your house every day? So the first thing you do when you bring it in is there's, with all papers, there's three categories. So one is act now. Those are things that need to be done right away. Um, like if your kid needs a signature, they have a project that they have due tomorrow, you, that's the act now. And then there's keep temporarily. And so those are things that it's a project that they're working on, but it's not due for another week or so. Then that's in the keep temporarily section. And then there's keep forever. And then those are things that you, like pictures or drawings or things that you keep forever. Okay, how do you decide keep forever? Because I, I openly admit sometimes I feel like I may be a little bit part hoarder. So <laughs> advice for what is keep forever? Yep, so those are going to be things that just they bring you joy and you like to look at and you just can't part with it. If I were to throw all of your papers on the floor and you had 10 seconds, which would be the first ones you'd grab? Oh, wow. And That's so great. That's kind of like I want to go back because we've had you on North Dakota today uh, in the past and I love uh, your style of decluttering because you have studied under the Marie Kondo. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Marie Kondo. Uh, remember her from, uh, you know, the pandemic when we were all decluttering and uh, finding out what brings us joy. If people are not familiar with that kind of way of thinking, can you explain it a little bit? Yeah. So her whole Marie Kondo's whole philosophy is only keep things that spark joy. So if things don't spark joy, then you just let them go. Cause you want to have things in your home that you don't want to look in your living room and see things that don't bring you joy or they're kind of sad things from the past. You just want to have things that bring you happiness and let go of the rest. Okay, so we have the three piles, and I'm just gonna move this because this is, this is too much. But you have some different things, and actually I got like maybe one point for having this container. But let's talk <laughs> yes. about some of the tools that you use to help, you know, once you've made the three piles. Yes, so it's nice to have things in little containers so that you know exactly where to go. Obviously, if you have a bunch of kids and you have more stuff, maybe you need like one of these is your Act Now folder, and then you have another one for Keep Temporarily. Um, so things that are act now are like bills that you need to pay or things that you need to take care of immediately. Things that are keep temporarily are things like um, wedding invitations or graduation invitations, things that you need to take care of but maybe just not right now or today. And then things that you want to keep forever are going to be things like your wedding license, your birth certificates, things like that. And then this I keep all in here. Yeah, so um, Kind of open that up. Yeah. Right? Yep. And then so like wedding stuff, our vehicle titles and just life insurance policies. So these are all things that I actually keep this in the safe. Okay. So these are just things and you don't need to keep a lot. For but even if you are keeping it, I, I know we keep our stuff in the gun safe too, uh, but it's just all piled up. Yeah. But this yep. is a lot more organized. Yep. So you want it to be something that if you actually need something, you know exactly where to go and I can, my husband can be looking for something and I can be talking to him on the phone and he knows where to go and, and find it. hold this up once too, because yeah. I mean, you're the, what you're putting, you're putting them inside, so it's very easy to flip through fast, right? Yep. Is that part of it too? Because if you just were looking at it flat, you know, like a binder, you don't have to have a hole punch. Yeah, yep. Did you buy these separately? These I did, yep, so I bought these separately. So these are something that, you know, sometimes you have little loose papers and if you put them in something, it's going to fly out when you open it. So they all stay contained, and then I label them. So by labeling them, it's eas easy to read. Sometimes you have to, if it's a document, you have to kind of look through it, like, what is this? So I just label it right at the top. 
Okay, let's move to the next uh, the next box. This is a little bit different than this file. Yes, yeah, so these these are the keep forever things. So this is for my daughter's artwork. And so she's just two years old, so I don't have a ton yet. Um, so anytime she brings something home from daycare that I love and I want to treasure forever, I put it in here. It brings you joy. Yes. Although as a mom, that's my struggle with kids stuff because yes. everything brings us joy. Yep, so what, you know, don't throw away anything that you are like, oh, should I keep this? Should I not? You know, then keep it. And then maybe at the end of the year, you re go through everything and kind of reevaluate and see, well, this one I actually like a lot more. The whole thing is to keep what fits your space. So if you have, I want to keep from one year, like what fits in one folder. And that way, because if you keep everything, then they, it means nothing. But if you just keep some things, they mean everything. And so I just try to keep enough where I can look at it easily and I don't have to flip through boxes to find it. I have homework when I get home. So <laughs> I think when I started with this, maybe I even got it after we had you on the first time. <laughs> it started with just things I wanted to keep from the school year, but then uh, now it's got, it's, there's school pictures, books, tablets. I think there's even a thank you card in there. So that Aww. makes no sense, but it's all in there. If people <laughs> want some advice, cause you come into homes and, and you can help declutter a whole house, a room, uh, even with school supplies. How do they yeah. get a hold of you and, and what's your expertise? Yeah, so um, they can find me at D and then clutter.co um, and I can help with anything. I, I love it all. I love papers, I love closets, anything. So Okay, all right. Yeah. No challenge is too big for Laura. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. Great <laughs> advice to get started and get ahead of the game as well as school's about to start. Stay with us coming up a little later on North Dakota today. COVID and the classroom, it has caused a lot of stress and anxiety for our kids. We're going to talk to some Sanford Health child psychologists to get some advice.